Hey guys, welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel where we cover all things crypto from the perspective of a miner. So today's video, we got yet another new CKB, which is for the Novus Network miner. Um, this is a full-size miner. This is not a little box thing like the other one we covered. This is for the IB Link BMN3. So we're going to be talking about that. Going to be looking at the profitability, what the projections look like, what the outlook looks like, and just give you my overall impressions. Um, so if it's something you're interested in, stay tuned, guys. So let's get right to it and go right for the specs. So this is from the BT Miners website. Um, this is a third party vendor, no affiliation with them, just showing you guys the info. So it's coming in at 25 terahash at 3,300 watts. Um, and the price tag, they have the MSRP listed at 39.99, which is not true, but we'll cover that in a second. Um, maybe this was the original MSRP that was planned prior to the K7. This might have been the original thing, which would make more sense. But this is what they have listed as the $29.99. Um, so right off the bat, comparing it to the K7, K7 is coming in at 63.5 terahash at 3,080 watts. So right off the bat, less than half the hash rate, and this thing uses 10% more power. So not a good start, right? So again... The K7 kind of messed up their plans, both Ivy Link and Gold Shells. Um, just like we mentioned in that other video, the other CK Box 2 video, is that any manufacturer that had these things in the pipeline, they're going to rush these things to the shelf as quickly as possible because this K7 is going to destroy these things. Um, so this one, they didn't even mention anywhere. I really didn't find any mention of it. I just happened to be browsing on their website and picked it up. So that's pretty much how I found about this. Um, so let's get right to the profitability. So going on the CryptoCalc website and putting it in 25 terahash, 3,300 watts. This is at a 10 cent kilowatt hour. Your profit right now as it stands would be $4.50, which doesn't look too bad until you factor in that this is what the profitability is going to be with the current hash rate. So keep in mind this K7 being so much more efficient, and then even this guy releasing, right? The hash rate is going to increase dramatically. How much, to what extent, we don't know yet. We don't know until we get some more shipping numbers for this K7 and how many of these guys end up shipping out. The only thing we do know for sure is that it will increase 100%. No doubt about it. Um, we can do a quick little calculation here. Um... Just a quick little projection so we could project that if the hash rate were to double, meaning the difficulty doubles, our rewards would be cut in half, right? Could it be more? Could it be less? Yes. But let's just do this as a quick little prediction, a little speculation. So our rewards, right, which is what we would get, would go down to $25.96. So we times it by the current price, which is 0 0.002467. We'll round it up to the 2.5. You're going to net, your net yield, I want to say profit, your net yield would be $6.49. But you got to factor in your electricity. Okay? Your electricity is almost 8 bucks, So you'd be losing $1.50 a day running this thing if the difficulty doubles. Right? It's purely speculation. The only thing that's guaranteed is that it will go up. By what factor, we don't know. I'm going to just do a quick little prediction as far as it doubles. It could triple, quadruple, or it could only go up maybe 25%. Maybe less. We don't know. Um, so take this number right now with a grain of salt. I wouldn't factor that in. I would factor definitely less. But how much less, we're not going to find out until we get these shipping numbers. Right? So let's factor that in. Um, one funny thing is that they literally rushed this thing as fast as they could. They didn't even post about it on their Twitter. There's no mention of it at all whatsoever on their Twitter, which is kind of sus. You go on their website, though, it is listed on there, and it's listed at a lower price, right? Doesn't have a street price, anything like that. Just has it listed at 2300 which, again, looks tempting, right? But considering the current situation... Even at this price, if the hash rate were to double, you'd, you'd still be losing. So it still doesn't even make sense at this price point. It's just the K7 is just that much more efficient that it just it doesn't make sense. 
which is again why we're talking about that. Anybody who was thinking about releasing these is going to rush these to shelves. Um, did find them on other websites. So here it's on Coin Mining Central at 2800 and hash has it listed at 2599. So that is give or take the ballpark range. Um, most likely these things won't sell out. Almost guaranteed that the price is going to go down, right? Because again, this K7 is just so much more efficient, but this price does look tempting. So for people who aren't, you know, taking the time to research these things, it does look good, right? $25.99 or $2,300 and you're going to yield 5 bucks a day. According to this, I'm sure people are still going to buy it. But for those of you who are smart, you're researching it, you're doing your thing, you know that this is not a good deal. Okay, so let's look at the competition, which the one before that would have been the CK6. That's the current monster right now for CKB. Uh, which is a 19.3 terahash at 3300 watts. This thing currently right now is only yielding a dollar and 67 cents. Um, so again, so for you guys with the CK6s, it's not looking too good for you. Um, so we'll go with that. Um, if it wasn't for the K7 though, this IB link would actually not be bad, right? Comparing it to the CK6, it would be a decent jump up. It would go up almost what, like 50%, right? So that wouldn't be a bad jump. More than likely, that's about what the CK7 would have been if that thing ever even releases or if it's even in the pipeline. We don't know. I'm sure they're going to come out with something as far as gold shell goes. But um, in comparison to this, it's just still not good. Um, so now let's compare with the K7, which is, again, the thing that's going to kill all these things. It's the 63.5 terahash, 3080 watts, and the profitability is much higher. Or not much more cost right this is the other thing like yes we're looking at the price it was what 2300 here this k7 is the msrp is what 39.99 right makes zero sense to go with this other one go with this one okay so this is the current the msrp was 39.99 the street price is about 4700 though going on a lot of the websites um, it's about forty-seven ninety-nine in most places between that and five thousand, um, which is of course over the three thirty-nine ninety-nine, but still not too bad. Um, so I definitely, definitely would consider this more than any of these things, especially considering that most of these are still actually available, right? It's not like the K three where they sold out like immediately and they're reselling for double. These are actually the pre-orders are still available at these prices. They're actually still there which is pretty good, um, which kind of also tells you the demand isn't there, right? Especially in comparison to the K3 where it sold out so fast. These things aren't too bad profitability-wise, and they're still sitting, which is kind of kind of weird. But I think it's just so many people aren't really too familiar with CKB. Um, as time goes, I'm sure it'll pick up. Um, but we'll see. I mean, the biggest factor is just how many of these guys they're going to release, Right. Maybe they won't release as many. Maybe the profitability stays up. But regardless, as far as the N3 goes, me personally would not recommend it at all whatsoever. Even if this thing goes down to half the price, you're still most likely going to be at a loss, right? The only driving factor would be as if we get a lot of price appreciation, something else happens there. Maybe that'll keep you in, but me personally, I would not consider something, especially considering they're going to have a having this coming year. I think it's this November coming up. So not right now, obviously, but this coming year. And then after that having, you're going to be producing even half of what it's going to be at that rate. So again, if you're going to invest this much money, you're going to use this much power. It needs to be something that's going to last you, right? Because even the K7, we'll see how many they release and we'll see how well that does. Um, so those are the comparisons there. So again, guys, overall, let's stay away. We're going to see more of this. I'm sure we'll hear about the CK7 here pretty soon. Um, we're going to hear other manufacturers. Again, anything they had in the pipeline, they're going to be releasing. Um, prices are going to continue to go down. So even if it is something you want to look at, let's say you have solar, you have access to super, super cheap electricity, the prices are going to go down. So even at that price, give it a couple of months. The prices are going to go down. You could even see like on the gold shell on their website, 
everything is going super cheap. Again, they're kind of in the same boat that they're going to try to clearance everything out, essentially. So right now, like the CK6s are down to 2100 I'm sure these are going to go down even more. Or they're going to try to offer more incentives. I know like they've been doing this promo, essentially like a buy one, get one. They've been doing these double pack things right here, even with the KD lights, because they're, they're just, they got to get rid of these things. They know that right now there's still a shot to sell them because profitability looks like it has some kind of, you know, money making potential. But they know that once this K7 comes out, it's going to be garbage. And same thing with why even the Kadena miners are so cheap. Like these guys are down to 510 for two of them. The max is 2300 Pretty much every update I've been doing, these things have been getting cut in half. <laughs> so this thing even right now is down to 2300 which is crazy. But, um... But yeah, guys, just keep your eyes open. Please do your research, especially if you're spending money on these big miners. You need them to last. If they don't last you, if you're not able to make that return on your investment, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your power. You're wasting your money. Don't do that. Research, 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 research. Um, I'll keep you guys up to date because, again, this is a project that I am bullish on. This is one that I'm researching. I did order a K7. Um, so we'll be having one of those because, again, overall, it is a good project. Now, financial advice, do your research, look into it, um, but we'll see how it goes. But again, guys, don't be surprised to see more of these. I'm sure Gold Shell is going to come out with theirs after their little Christmas sale. I'm sure they're going to be releasing their specs on anything they have, and they're going to try to rush it to the, to the floor as quickly as possible. All right, guys, I so wanted to give you that quick little update. Hopefully you got something from the video. Guys, please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if you're thinking of getting one or if you're thinking of getting a K7. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching. And I am out.